One school district in Eastern Carolina is looking to close one of the elementary schools due to a decline in population and enrollment. If board members vote to approve the proposal, some students would be left to make a long ride to a new school. News 12's Rebecca McGann was at a public hearing tonight and has what the community thinks of the proposal. Bertie County Schools held a public hearing today at Allander Elementary about whether or not they would permanently close the school in the 2024-2025 school year. And the majority of the community members that spoke were overwhelmingly against it. Less than 100 students attend Allander Elementary School on NC305, and that's why Bertie County School Board of Education is considering shutting the doors permanently. Enrollment has gone down because of most people here, here now are retired, and the younger students, when they leave and go to college, they don't come back. So we just don't have the amount of children and students that we've had in the past, and it's steadily declining. Another problem is the school building itself. It was built for more than 300 students, and district officials say it needs more than $200,000 in repairs and upgrades. It kind of comes down to dollar and cents. Uh, when you have a, um, a population that's under 100, the state won't fund the principal. So if we continue to keep the school open, that means local funds will have to pick it up. In a public hearing Monday night, residents and community leaders of Allander voiced their concerns about closing the school, saying students would lose one-on-one -on -one learning and that it could be detrimental to the town itself. When schools close, communities die. We don't want to lose the children. We don't want to lose the citizens. If board members vote to close Allander Elementary, students would have a 20-minute ride to West Bertie Elementary, something longtime resident Bobby Parker doesn't want to see happen. You never want to lose the heart of your community, and that's, that's what we're asking tonight. Don't take away the heart of our community. Now, the final decision hasn't been made yet on whether or not the school will close, but if that is the decision that the board comes to, then they said that they will act quickly so that they can plan for the upcoming school year. In Bertie County, Rebecca McGann, News 12.